Hey everybody, our party just finished the third Cobalt Soul mission and we're going to talk about it. So let's dig in. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. So, before we dive into what actually happened during our last session, let's talk about what went well. My party is so excited to be on the brink of entering Kale Morrow. They've been working towards this for a little while now, and they can taste it almost, and they're very excited, which is a lot of fun. What could be better? I feel that my party's not quite being challenged enough in combat. They usually do the same routine where Chosen will grapple somebody and then the rest of them beat on him and kind of ignore the other enemies. So I'm going to try and figure out a way that they're going to have to change their battle plan a little bit. So what actually happened during our session? If you remember, we left off last time with the Ruidium Elephant bursting through the Bowl of Judgment. And Io immediately reaches out to my party and says, you guys want the one in the street or you want the one here? We're good either way. And my party says, ah, oh, let's go take the one in the street. So we, they run out and chase the elephant through the streets, and eventually they catch up and start dealing damage to the Ruidium Elephant. Uh, a couple rounds in, another one shows up from the area that they had just come from, and they fought and killed the elephant. So the first one, boom, after it dies, it turns into the little figurine, and my party's like, ooh, that's really cool. So they hurry and try and kill the other one, and it poof, puffs into a dust of Ruidium. They were a little bit disappointed that they only got the one statuette. A couple of them were like, ah, oh, should we touch this? And I think Chosen was the one that just immediately just picked it up. No big deal. They pick it up and they headed back to the Bowl of Judgment where they talked with the rival party and they're like, hey, how'd it go? The rival party was like, oh, I don't know, we killed ours and it just poof puffed into dust. My party was like, well, we, that's weird. We had one that turned into this little figurine and they showed it to the rival party like, oh, that's weird. My party's like, hey, well, I, wonder, I wonder if there are more elephants in the city. So Trixie uses her alpha familiar, sends it up into the air and they can kind of see the path of destruction from the Suncut Bazaar all the way through the Bowl of Judgment to where the other elephant is. So they're not sure if there's more elephants or not. At about this point, Question and Iwo both reach out to the party and say, hey, we need you at the Library of the Cobalt Soul right now. My party's like, oh, okay, well, I guess we'll meet you guys later. <laughs> and they take off. So they head to the Library of the Cobalt Soul where they're now greeted by Iwo, Question, and Jamil. And he basically said that the city has been attacked by what they believe is a consortium. They've got monks and agents throughout the city and there were six elephants, they believe, that were released into the city. You guys, it sounds like, fought two. The rival party fought one. And then three others were dispatched by other members of the Library of the Cobalt Soul. So everything is taken care of, but we want you to investigate what happened and where these came from. We have intelligence that suggests that it came from the Suncut Bazaar, that tavern you told us about when you first arrived at the city, the first eclipse. Will you guys go check it out and see what's going on there? The party's like, yeah, sure. That sounds great. So Jamil offered them a huge reward, a thousand gold pieces, if they can figure out what's going on. So my party heads down that way. I think they took a cart or something in the middle of the night. That By this time, it's pretty late at night because they had just fought at the Bowl of Judgment, which happens in the evening, and they fought the thing. So a couple hours is getting pretty late at night. My party seems to hang out and knock around at night for some reason. Anyway, so they head back. They follow the path of destruction. They get there, and they can see, obviously, that the First Eclipse Tavern is okay, and there's places around that are pretty beaten up from the elephants. And they're like, all right, well, what's the plan? Let's send Dimitri in. Dimitri's never in, been in before. So Dimitri goes in and immediately is greeted by Kelker the Gull and Satsrak. And they're just like, get out, we're closed. And Dimitri's like, well, I just need I need directions. Have you guys heard of this, that? And they're kind of trying to find excuses for whatever. While all this is going on, a couple members of the party turn invisible. Trixie, Iris, and Chosen all turn invisible. Through spells and the Jewel of Three Prayers, they go in and they're just kind of sitting there watching. Jimmy goes back and tries to recruit a bunch of rats to help out. So he does convince them to come in and they find all this awesome stuff in the kitchen. Anyway, he has a hard time kind of wrangling the rats, but eventually he does wrangle the rats and they come out of the kitchen and they head back to the secret room because they all they found this a few sessions ago. They found the secret room when they got in Ankarel. They head that general direction. The invisible people open the shelf. Kelker and Satsrak both are like, ah, that's not good. Roll initiative. So we roll initiative. Chosen actually is first in initiative. Jumps up over the bar and uh, attempts to grapple Kelker. So he grapples Kelker and then from there, chaos just ensues. Lots of back and forth. Bolts fighting Kelker summons an earth elemental, all kinds of stuff. My party handled it pretty well. Once they had grappled the spellcaster, it was a little bit harder for them to cast spells and things, which I th is Chosen's plan. He's played a lot of D&D, &D, and so he does that pretty regularly, especially when there's a spellcaster involved. So I need to find a way to prevent that, and I talked about that in what could be better. So we'll have to brainstorm a little bit and think about ways to challenge Chosen in that regard. Fight goes on for a little while, a few rounds. Actually, Trixie ends up getting downed by, I believe it was the Earth Elemental. And after she gets down, Jimmy heals her. So the Earth Elemental turns to the healer and starts going and attacking. And Jimmy took a few good hits as well. But eventually my party is able to wrap it up. They manacle Satsrak and capture him and charm him and get information from him. They end up killing Kelker because Chosen's raging and doesn't know better. And obviously the Earth Elemental just died. With that, they 
interrogate Satsrak a little bit. He's not super helpful. He's friendly and he gives the information that he can, but Satsrak doesn't know a lot of information in my game. He gives them the name of some of the leaders of the consortium. He does not know where the next hideout is. He does not know where the Ruidium is stored any of that kind of information. He just played it off like he's really cool and stuff and he knows a lot of people because people come in and hang out at the first eclipse so they go and talk in the back room but he doesn't really know them all that well and he feels like he's more important than he really is. They interrogate him and get some information. They investigate the room in the back and it's pretty obvious that it's been cleared out. They also find the note on Kelker and they're like, okay, well we need to figure out who this is through Satsrak. They find out that this, he's one of the masters of the consortium. Find out all that information. Let's have Trixie's alpha familiar stay here. Watch Satsrak and if Satsrak leaves, follow them around to the new base because they felt like Satrick was lying to them. So they all leave and they head back to the Library of the Cobalt Soul. They tell Jamil and the others what exactly they have found out. They also found out from Satrick that there's a spy of the consortium inside the Allegiance and is, has access to Kale Morrow. Jamil is like, that is a big problem. I'm pretty sure we can get you fast-tracked into Kale Morrow. Go get some sleep. We'll meet up with you in the morning. And that is where our session ended because my party also reached level 8 after they completed the third mission. It's getting pretty intense. My party's really, really excited to figure out what's going on with Kale Morrow. They f completely forgot about almost the fight with the rival party. The session before, leading into the session, they were super excited to fight the, uh, the rival party, but now I think they're really excited to get into Kale Morrow. And we'll see when we pick up the Bowl of Judgment tournaments. Right now, I think they just want to get into Kale Morrow, and maybe once they've been into Kale Morrow for a little bit, they'll come back and want to do that. So whenever they're ready, the tournament will be there for them. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. You know, do all the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And a huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. We'll catch you in the next one.